What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how you doing? You see the pretty face right there. I come to you live and direct from YouTube land. And uh, today I want to talk about a topic... I'm talking about us uh, that deals with social media. Sorry if you hear something in the background. I'm in a hot weather climate, so yes, I have the AC on. But I'm gonna talk about something that um that everybody can relate to. Well, not everybody. Some of us can relate to. And that's how I don't take Facebook seriously. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't take Facebook. As far, I don't Facebook as far as people talking about topics and situations on Facebook. I don't take it serious. And here's why. I was in this group for a minute. In this group, we talked about different topics and situations. And the topic that came about was the other day when I was it was homosexuality. And what came about of it was people were asking, no, do, should, something about do black people have a problem with homosexuality or something should black people support homosexuality? Something, something to that effect. And my point was, and if you if you know if you watch some of my videos, you know what my consistent point is. When it came down to it, and I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you people, you know I'm, I'm, you know I always spit two things, facts and real shit. The bottom line was, when it came down to it, blacks supported, and these were in front of the Supreme Court at the same time. Your your right to vote and gay marriage, blacks supported gay marriage, and we supported our right to vote. But we went out. For, we went out more for our right to. I mean, for your gay marriage. But when it came down to support blacks' right to vote, where were the people with gay marriage? They weren't around. They were, yeah, there was a few. Of them. Another point I brought across. While there were people getting killed down south, the the the, the, the clear majority of the predominantly were black people. Yes, Jews got killed down there. Yes, Hispanics got killed down there. And like I said, I made the point that you didn't see gays openly stick their head out. Now, I caught hell in a handbasket from that, and people were getting mad at me for what I said. And then they, they, they then, see, here's what they try to do. They try to distort the point. And then what I did is I told people what was going to happen. I told them I'm going to use slavery to get you feeling free. They're going to use other this and that and the third. So what happened was, somebody told, asked me, well, are you trying to say there weren't gays down there in the South marching? I said, look, I'm not saying there were not any homosexuals down there in the South March. What I'm trying to tell you is, they weren't open like that down in the South Marching because, first of all, they went after the, they, the, the order of preference for them down South boys is homosexuals, Jews, and blacks. You saw what happened when they were Mickey Schwartz, I think that's her name, as those guys went down to help the blacks. They went after them first. So that's the order they would have strung you guys up. They would have got the guy gays first. And then one guy goes, well, of course the gays weren't going to go down there openly because it was the 60s. Other than, I thank you for proving my point. Now, I had that population mad. And then this other chick, I guess she had some stroke in this group. I don't know. She was like, well, you should kill yourself. I said, well, I want to kill myself. I'm telling you the truth. And then she went on and like this and that. And then later down she said, well, my only problem is not where, where the Bible talks about slavery. And I said, point proof. There there you go. And then I touched, then it got touched off. And then people were getting mad at me. And like I tried to tell these people, what are you mad at me about? Everything I said has happened. Everything I said they were going to tell you about has happened. They touch on slavery to get all black people riled up and feel sorry for you. Look what they did. They went They went to, look, here's how bad it is with the homosexual movement. You have preachers such as T.D. Fakes out of Texas talking about the church is changing their stance. No, the church isn't changing their stance. You're changing the church's stance. So, hey, if you want to if you want to go to hell with your gasoline draws on, Mr. TD Fakes, go right ahead. Why are you gonna send your? Why are you gonna just because you took money from a uh, old boy? What's his name? The did the thing, the cross dresser dude. Because you took money from him, 
don't make it, don't, 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 don't talk like, well, we're going to change, the church is changing their ways. No, the church isn't changing their ways. If the church is changing their ways, you're changing the church's ways. And that's the point I'm trying to take across. That's why I don't take, I don't take Facebook serious. Because the reason I don't take Facebook serious, because a lot of people aren't used to talking like this. And, and what it is, is if you notice, then they'll say, oh, you're fat, and you're in. They'll, 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 they'll divert you off the topic. Or they'll do some real stupid stuff like, they won't, they won't, tell, they won't talk to a good man. And, and needless to say, they came to the point where like, they were like, well, we're going to somehow kick me out the group. And here's the, here's the point. Like, the group was cool. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to front with you. The group was cool. But at the end of the day, my facts trumped her. And what they should have said is, well, he's, you know, he kicking the, he's kicking the truth. No, we kind of, so there were a few people that were like, he's right, this, that, the third. But my point was, you can kick me out of this group. I give two fucks. As long as I'm not telling you a lie or lying to the people, I give two fucks. So what happened was, they booted me out the group. And I'm like, I'm cool with it. I, I, I can't complain. I'm not going to cry when I'm not being in a group. You know, so I just kept it and moved on. So that's the reason why I don't take fake serious, because this is the type of stuff you got to deal with. You got to deal with people who are who want to debate you and want to get in on you, but at the end of the day, they don't want to really get in on you. They just want to cuss you out, because your point is mud. And yeah, I felt sorry for what I did, because I, I was setting her up. I was like, but then, the, but like, like the one dude came and told me, she did everything you said that was going to happen. I said, that's their playbook. They get you all riled up. They get you feel sorry for them. And what happens? At the, at the end of the proverbial day, when you guys were down in D.C. supporting them and, try, and trying to get your civil rights votes, they were supporting their own right to marriage, and they didn't give a damn about your right to vote. They just said, hey, we got our marriage. Hasta la vista. So at the end of the day, whenever I hear black people cry they can't vote, I say you chose to slit your own throat. And I feel no no sympathy. I feel no no sorrow that you can't vote. At the end of the day, it was in the news. And then I get these people saying, "Well, I wasn't aware of it. How are you not aware of something that's not in the news?" That just tell me your 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 next layer of ignorance. You don't pretend to what's going on around you. But if they were handing out Obama phones or giving out free welfare, I bet everybody like the super tools, power activated, form of a hawk. You'd be down there in Walmart raiding their store. And that's the point I'm trying to make. I take Facebook as is. I'd rather do Google Plus as far as if I'm having an intelligent debate. I'll take Facebook as I take Facebook. You know, I take, you know I'll put my videos up. I'll talk. There, I mean, there's certain. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There are people on there who you can have an intelligent debate with. But the majority of people on Facebook, you cannot have an intelligent debate with. You can do it on uh, YouTube. You can do it on. You can do it on Instagram. Which I don't understand because Facebook is basically an Instagram and they're the same company. You could do it on Google Plus. When it comes on these groups and, and um, on Facebook, you got to take them for what they are. A bunch of high school kids. So, that's all I wanted to say. You know, like I said, they, they, they kicked me. It was kind of, kind of corny what they did. But like I said, if, if I was lying, I could see them say, well, you're a liar, you get out. But at the end of the day, I lose no sleep because, you know, it could have worked out for the group because I could have put them on a bigger stage and a bigger platform, and they could have helped me out. We could have worked some business out. But, again, black folks ain't used to working business out because they, they used to, like, selling turkey dinners and chicken dinners for the church. They're used to that basic level of business. They're not used to that next layer of breaking through business. So, well, i got to get out of here. Peace and have a good day, folks.